I am Randleberg with Randleberg Yachts in Marina Del Rey, California. Today we're going to talk about how to train a new boat owner to operate his power boat. There's a number of issues with power boats that the new boat owner should know. Backing out of the slip is pretty easy, but it can be spooky if it's a tight marina slip. Pulling in the slip is always an exciting opportunity, whether you're a veteran boat owner or a new boat owner. Dropping an anchor and picking it up, picking up a mooring, let's say in Catalina, in Avalon, or just simply maneuvering a boat around the marina. So I highly recommend uh, if you're a new boat owner, you pay a captain a few hours and have them show you the operation of the boat. I think within those two hours, you'll get a really good feel how to operate it. One of the good things to do is practice moving in and out of your slip. You move in very slowly. Your boat is a heavy object, lots of inertia. Speed is dangerous in boats. So you pretty much put it in neutral or idle and kick your throttles if you're going into your slip or kick them in and out of gear as you're coming out of a slip so that you have full control of your boat. Single engine boats are a little more problematic than dual engine boats. Single engine boats you have to use your wheel and the throttles where a dual engine you can pull in and out of the slip very easily without touching the wheel at all. You just do your port and starboard throttle in and out of gear and kick her back and forth. The other thing a new boat owner should do is learn how to circle around buoys in a marina, learn how to back up to a buoy, move close to it. So go out on a weekday or an early morning and just practice maneuvering your boat all around the buoys. Get very comfortable in wind conditions, wave conditions. Remember the wind's pushing the boat, waves are pushing the boat. It's not just you and the motor. Not like a car where the ground holds you in place. There is no ground. You're moving all the time. So learn to anticipate movement and use your control sensibly put her from neutral to idle back to neutral very quickly and kick it back and forth to keep control of the boat. As far as anchoring, that's really a whole science, but what you have to realize is if you're going to anchor, you need roughly three to four times the length of the boat in chain in order to hold the anchor on the bottom of the ocean. If you have a 30-foot boat, a 100-foot of chain is not too little. Uh, it's heavy, but it'll keep the anchor down. The anchor itself plows, but to keep it plowed in place, you need chain, not just the rope. In order to set the anchor, you basically drop your anchor and then let it settle on the bottom, then put her in idle reverse and slightly pull back. That pulls the plow into the dirt, into the sand, into the mud, and locks it in place. The opposite is true when you want to release your anchor. You pull the anchor up so it's almost vertical, and then you slightly go forward and she should pop right out and you keep moving. Picking up a mooring in Avalon is always fun. It requires a couple things. One is a set of gloves. The reason is the mooring line attached to the float is encrusted and it'll cut your hands. I did this the first time and it was a mess. So bring gloves for setting up, picking up a mooring at Avalon. What you do is you go up to your mooring. There's a flag on a pole on a float. You pick up the flag from the bow and you, as fast as you can, you pull it up to the first loop. The first loop goes on the bow of the boat. And then you hand over hand, pick up the rope and walk it to the stern of the boat, pulling the boat closer and closer to it. The engine is not on, it's idling. And as you pull that rope towards the stern of the boat, you hook the loop to the stern cleat. So you've got a bow and stern cleat attached with the mooring line off the uh, floats at Avalon. And releasing it is the reverse, however, have to remember that that's a line and you have a propeller on your boat, so do not engage your engine until both lines are off. Stern line first and then the bow line, let it sink and then you're on your way. So that's pretty much it. A captain can go to Catalina, show you how to do it. He can help you on weekends, maneuver your boat in and out of the slip, do 360s around moorings, forward and back, and just get comfortable with your boat. Always go slow. Speed is dangerous. You have a lot of inertia. And enjoy your boat. And if you have any questions, you can call me or email me. I'm Randleberg with Randleberg Yachts. If you want to sell your boat or buy another one, you know how to get a hold of me.